five of Vlogmas, and today we are going to be DIYing a notebook, a Christmas notebook. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to show you everything that I plan to use to create this notebook. So, this is all my cardstock. I have another one too, but this is some of the cardstock that I will be using because we have to find a cover. Oh! I almost tore my room apart. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, this is some other cardstock that I was going to like consider to use since it is a Christmas theme. And then here is just like some of my stickers that I have. I just got these from Michael's a couple of weeks ago. Just little stuff. Oh, you can't see. Just little stuff I'm considering using. And these are all my other like Christmas things. I just got these from Michael's too. They're like these little things that you can use to put like in shaker cards. It's like confetti and glitter and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to make like a shaker type thing because I don't have foam tape for real for real. But we're going to figure something out. And then here are my binding wires. We're going to do a white bind. So, yeah. I got these from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and these are going to be like the notebooks that I use. I got these from Dollar Tree. Well, not the notebooks, but notepads. Normally, I, I know how to make it like... Okay, hold on. <laughs> I do know how to make it from scratch just using like paper like cardstock or just white copy paper or paper that i printed off line like with lines on it but for today's episode we're just going to keep it simple and we're just going to use these then i'm going to keep my scoreboard out just in case we have to make a crease this is my tiny cutter i don't know why we might well we might need this to cut the um the covers out for these and then I have my cinch, and this is the one that makes the square punches. Yeah, that's my baby. Okay, so first what we're going to do is find some cardstock that looks good with this and puts us in the holiday spirit. Okay, so I tried to zoom in because I know I have a lot of stuff on my desk, and it gets messy, but right now I'm just looking through, like, cardstock trying to figure out like what should we use i'm pretty sure i got this around last year from michael's when they did now i'm too zoomed in but <laughs> the way i just shot the show that but i'm pretty sure i got this from michael's last year it is just not focusing at all but they have this like foil then they have some printed card stock. Then they got some solid colors. I'm kind of feeling the red foil. And that's probably what I'm going to go with too. Because I actually, I don't feel like looking through all my card stock. Because it is a lot. So, we're just going to put all of this back in there. This is just scraps. I don't throw out my paper scraps. Why does it look like that? What the heck? Well, that was not um, a pleasing to look at. I'm filming on my phone today because I did not feel like bringing out my camera. Um, okay, so that's that. Oh, here we go, receipt. I don't know why I have, like, we're just gonna, oops, we're just gonna throw this receipt out. Okay, so then I also have some other foil. This was just, like, already out because I probably was using it for something else. But we have just some silver foil see i told you i was already using this for something else i just got some silver glitter paper so i'm just gonna keep those out and now what i'm gonna do is just open this up okay so now i have the foil paper it feels horrible i hate how michael's foil paper feels it's, it just feels horrible i hate that the back of their foil paper is like cardboard like a little bit like it's just brown craft paper i hate that because this is ugly so i mean do these go together oh my god you can barely even like see anything okay maybe i'm too zoomed in we gotta zoom out a little bit 
Okay, y'all, so I had to zoom in, zoom out a little bit, because I know that y'all probably could see my, like, you know, setup. So, one more thing. These notebooks, I, I try to keep a size of them so that when I'm, like, trimming everything, it'll at least be right. But these notebooks are these. And like I said, I got these from note, I mean, these writing tablets, I guess you would say they're from dollar tree and i like the size of them and i think they're just a cute thing to also i mean a cute what i was trying to say was i think that these are just cool to have because if you have like a cinch you are practicing a lot and you want to make sure that when you do your final product like your notebooks from scratch everything just works fine Is that better y'all i would be lying if i said i probably wasn't super irritated and here's why y'all see here go my stupid phone she died no she didn't die my phone didn't die i lied on you her behind sent that message and was like oh you ran out of space what i haven't i have not ran out of this phone all year this is a new phone and she not talking about she ran out of space. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I probably left off on talking about me just cutting this as a as an example, and that's it. Now I'm angry. So now we're gonna finish this video pretty fast. But like I said, it shouldn't take that long anyway. So basically, what I like to do is just like line it up, make sure everything looks good, do do do. So in a typical example. This will be the front, this will be the back. And you will literally just put them together just like this. Put the little thing on there. Doo -doo -doo, and you have you a little sexy cool notebook. But that's not the book. We're not, we not doing that today. What I'm about to show you now is just how I practice with normally just regular sheets of paper like this before I actually do my final copy. And so you just normally, if you have like... More pad. I mean, if you have a bigger sheet of paper, you'll measure it out. Boop, boop, boop. See how many you need. Um, that's the little center button. And you literally just, you know, you play around with it. And you test to see how it look. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I said, I'm not in the measurement. So, I normally just go, do what I gotta do, and that's it. So, for me, this is still, this is a little crooked, as you can tell. So, this, this will be considered a bad copy. But, I do know that I have enough pads. So, it probably did that because I'm doing it on the edge because I was trying to show y'all how it looks. But, we're going to try this. It's like there's something in there. Maybe not. So, ugh, random cricket movement. Okay, let's just let's see. Because I don't want to do anything that's going to back up. This still looks cricket to me. I don't know why this looks so, like, cricket to me. But this looks very cricket. And I'm scared now because I don't know why it looks crooked. So sometimes I literally just take a sheet of paper. Like, you see, I'm just going to take a sheet of paper. And we're going to do this thing again. It got to be because I'm on this angle. And you just, it seems like there's something in it. I'm not going to do it. Hold on, y'all. Because sometimes the paper, this is another thing I don't like about this machine. Sometimes the paper get jammed inside of there. And it can mess it up. So, you just, like I said, center. Maybe I'm too over. Is everything, are these pushed in? So, right. When you're using a cinch, you have to make sure that the things that you're using, these things are pushed in. And the ones that you're not using are pushed out. I'm not going to hold y'all. I do feel like my cinch is broken. Because I feel like I got it broken. Like, I feel like when I ordered it online, it came broken. Like, something about it just gives broken at me like you see how some of my things they move different than other ones and i just feel like it's broken like i really do but that's not the point okay so here we go this steel see they're all coming out cricket and i'm irritated now because now i don't know why they're coming out cricket oh because it's paper in here see i told y'all if it's paper in here it's not gonna work and there's like a sheet. It's like, why is it paper right there? It 
and why this won't come out is the real thing. Like, what? I, that paper, though, it shouldn't have nothing to do with that. Yeah, that's so irritated. We're going to try this one more time. I'm getting so annoyed with this video because this is not going that great. Okay, you see, that's better. Yeah, that's pretty better. So, you get the gif of it. Play around with it before you try it out. And just make sure that you don't mess up. Okay, so, we're not going to use this. We're using this color. So, I'm going to move the cinch back over. Because now we have to do that whole process over again. Of just showing you guys. I mean, how to cut. But I'm probably going to fast forward with that anyways. Alright. Don't have to see, oh my god, I was trying to say that I'm probably going to fast forward that scene so that you guys don't have to watch it no more, because I know it probably was boring and a waste of your time. So, you just go back. Sometimes, too, you could just cut it out. I mean, I could cut it to perfection, but... I could have just cut it. I'm not going to lie. I could have just did that. I could have just cut it to the size, but obviously I'm dramatic and I wanted to do this instead. I made this job 10 times harder. Uh-huh. <laughs> little, little thing, y'all. You know, it's like paper everywhere. I'm very shocked that my phone just told me, oh, you don't have no space. And great. See, I, I should have just cut it. Because now this was not even. Now they're not even no more. <sighs> this is kind of pissing me off. Because now, look. They're not going to be the same size. That's bigger than that. So now I cannot use this sheet. Okay. This time, I'm just going to cut it. Because, yikes. Or you know what? Sometimes I just do this too. I just grab my exacto knife and I cut. Oh great! It cut on the it messed up my little side piece. Look! 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 Just look! Do y'all see? You see the drama I be going through sometimes? Okay, so this, I guess, this I have to do. It's not as perfect as I wanted it to be. But you know what? We're just going to use it. Now that made it worse. getting on my nerve I'm gonna tell you that now so obviously making a notebook is not easier because you have to make sure that your cover looks fine you have to make sure that stuff aligns and it's just it's just a whole bunch of just like just stuff because the thing is this if it doesn't bind correctly if it doesn't align right you have to start over you have to do a whole new cover so now we're about to get into the binding process. I'm gonna need two of these. Oh my god. I hate when these get stuck together. And it's stuck together too. What the heck? Why are these stuck together, y'all? And it won't come out. Uh, okay, hold on, you know what? Nah, y'all, look. This is the dumbest thing ever. Because why is this stuck on here? Let me see if it come out. No, it's like literally like stuck on here. And I'm like <sighs> annoyed and irritated that them two are stuck together. So you know what? So them two and it's none left in this box. Okay. So I'm going to have to get my other thing. I have another piece of items that we need.
call this my little one of one of many toolkits. Okay, so we're gonna need that. So because we have to cut this one off for anyway. And that'd be the one we probably will use anyway. Okay, so this is probably going to be the one I use anyway, because I know we're not going to need... Hey, why are these still stuck together, though? Come on. Uh, Y'all, look, I'm kind of irritated by this. I know I could get them off eventually, but it should come off anyway, considering the fact there's, like, an opening now. Y'all, look, this is so... St I can't. You know what? I can't. Okay. Y'all ever just get annoyed with do something and it's like everything is just working against you that means you're doing something right though probably okay so here go the notebook here's the cover for now that's the back that's the other pieces we don't need none of that so i'm gonna put the cup should i do that maybe we should decorate the cover first yeah because well you know what let's do this first we're going to cut the cover out first on the cinch, the little binding things. Let's cut them out first. And let me just do it from this angle so that I can see. Here we go. Yeah, it probably was the angle. You know, and I'm just going to do everything else at once too because... It just, it just takes too long. So, what you can do, is too, if you're using, like, pads, like, well, notepads to, like, make these little notebooks, you probably should take um, the glue thing that's off of there. I sometimes do, sometimes I don't. This time, I just didn't because I didn't care. Um, but I just, I just take them off because you cannot cinch that big pad at once, neither. So, I just... I just break it up and like, you know, separate them a little bit so that I'm not having to cinch. Not too many at once, but you know, enough at once. I do want y'all to see me cinching, but I'm not going to lie. I'm having a hard time with cinch. Now, let's see if these two align up. Yup, see, that's what you want. You want them to align. So, we did a good job so far with that. Now, we just have to make sure that the pages align. And like I said, I think it was because I wasn't, I was like having the camera on them and it went straight and all that jazz. So you just have to be careful. You have to play around with it, like I said. Let's see. Because that's all we want. We just want, see, this is, mm, let me see. Hold on, because it might be the other side. No, won't wait. Okay, see, we went into a line. It's not aligning the best, but it is aligning. I don't think it'll never perfectly align. I think it will always be like a little edge. I think like it'll always be a little off. Unless you get like you know, those big heavy duty cinch, not cinch, but binding machines. I think it'll always be off. Okay, y'all. So just cinch So I hope y'all could see me like using it. I'm just trying to hurry up at this point because I don't want this video to come out too late, but I have to go to work today, so it is what it is. And sometimes, too, I can feel like when it's something like blocking it, like right now it feels like something's blocking it, but and I'm kind of scared to cinch it, but I don't see nothing. Ooh, my alarm went off. Okay. Let's see, y'all. But don't think too much about it sometimes. I think the more you think too deep about it, the the, the times it gets really messy. Like, once you did like one cinch and it did good, normally you get this on this row. But sometimes, like I said, it just takes a little bit of time to get back used to. And then you on it again. You just get in a habit of cinching and it becomes less struggle. But sometimes that first round of just trying to cinch it is just hard because... You know, you have to get accustomed to the machine again. You have to make sure that, ugh. You just have to make sure that it just looks right. Like, it aligns. It's not crooked. The lines are matching up. It's six pegs or whatever. 
And as you can see now, my speed has increased and everything. Because I could just be like, here's y'all notebook. I ain't going to do that to y'all because I promised y'all a Christmas notebook. So I want this to be Christmas thing. So here we go. This is how it's going to look. Oh, this is how it's going to look. But we're going to decorate the cover before we cinch it all together. Because to me that just makes the most sense. So it's not, it's, 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 um, it's not a perfect cinch. Because I mean, look, uh, it's kind of crooked a little bit. Like, look, I guess you can see it better from it. It's not perfect, but that'll do it for me. Yeah. Okay. So now, here we go. Set that to the side. We can move the cinch for a little bit. And what we're going to do now is decorate the cover. I'm not going to put any more stuff on there because no drama. Um, I'm probably not going to do this. I'll probably save that for maybe another video. I can show y'all how to do something with that. But for now, we're just going to decorate it with these things. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put that on there. I don't have that many stickers. I wish I had a Merry Christmas sticker. I think that would be cool to put on there. But I don't think I have none. So we're probably just going <laughs> to... It's going to look so basic. I will put glitter on it. But that's going to take too long. So... Oops. These are stickers. But these are heavy too. Oh, and sometimes, too, what I do is I put, like, a seal over this, like a um, machineless uh, cover, but I'm not going to do that today because I already cinched it, and I, already, and I would have to cinch it with that on. So, y'all, I'm thinking about doing that. Something real simple. Maybe I could use... These pop dot adhesives to fit. I meant to make it pop off the page. But I genuinely think, yeah, these are stickers already though. But, uh, well, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> I shouldn't have did that if I was going to put the other thing on there. That was pretty stupid sham, but, okay. I'm just going to do that. And then maybe we could put... these on them well them on this well some of these on this little candy cane and see how that looks Ooh, y'all these little dollar tree ugh, they are horrible we should have known they were going to be horrible though did should we yeah because dollar not me oh i didn't answer my own question <laughs> Funny, but we should have known. Look, they like gonna come off. These are definitely gonna come off. I'm I'm well aware that these are gonna come off. I should have just put the sticker. Well, now I can't get them off. Now I can't get the opposite side. Okay, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Oh my god, I really be ah stressing with this stuff, y'all. These little Dollar Tree stickers are pissing me off. I'm not gonna hold These aren't Dollar Tree stickers. I'm talking about these when I say the Dollar Tree stickers. These little things, y'all. I don't buy them. They're garbage. They keep coming off. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. I'm going to have to buy me some more of these. Because they literally will not stick to like the back of this little sticker. Okay, let's see how that looks. I know it's not going to stick. I'm well aware of this. Okay. So, here we go. So, I did that so that it'll... Ooh, see what I mean? You see what I mean? It's coming off. It's coming off. Okay, you know, we're just going to use a different one. Y'all, I just... I get real irritated real fast when stuff like this starts happening because why are you not working? And why aren't you sticking? Everything else is sticking but you. Give me problems. Okay, so now here's our cover. It's so plain and so just whatever, but... um, Is that too much? Yes. <laughs> Okay, it's so plain, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but this is the best that I just have. I wish they had some more smaller versions of these. That'd be cute. But they don't. Okay, 
So, here go our notebook cover. It's pretty plain, pretty basic, but whatever. Okay, so now it's time for us to cinch all of this together. So basically, when you have the binding wire, you're supposed to count how many little holes you have. And I have six, so I'm going to count six out. And I'm probably going to cut this one off because it's messed up. Oof. Okay, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you just cut down, and then you probably will have extra wire over if you want to make a smaller notebook or whatever. That did not, that was not supposed to get thrown over there. So you just make sure everything looks right, and then you head over here to the cinch. You put your things down. Are they going down? I'm trying to make sure. Yep, here they go now. And you start with um the pages if i'm not mistaken you start with the pages wait some of these are not flipped through. okay so also too you'll start to notice like certain sides go together like i can tell now that one of my side like this is looking not centered i can tell that and that's okay it is what it is okay so that's why I was saying that like, it really do matter. Like these are centered, but some of the pages are not centered. That's why I was trying to tell you guys that it really does matter how you cinch and making sure that your precision is on. Because, well not precision is on, but make sure that you are being precise. Because when it comes down. Okay, y'all. So they start recording on my camera too. Uh, y'all, this is a mess. This video going to be so long and I don't even know like how... I'm going to edit it. My laptop is probably going to die, too, and blow up at the same time. So, anyway, okay, when you're doing the cinch, if I'm not mistaken, you're supposed to put this page like this. They're supposed to face, I think, hold on, y'all, that, that may not be right. I do know they said that the front page, or do the front page go on backwards, or does, no, I think. It go like this. That's what I think it does. But let me pause this video and see. Okay, we are back. And I want y'all to see this part. Okay, so I had it right, like I thought. So one thing I want to point out with the cinch is that when you're making this, you kind of create it a little backwards. So the front cover goes first. Well, no. Let's, let, me, let me start over. The paper... Whatever paper that you're using for inside the notebook goes first. Then you put the cover on right side up. And then you put the cover, I mean the backing, wrong side up. But this time it doesn't matter because it the backing is just whatever. So I'm just going to slap that thing on. Then you pick it up. You turn it around. Ooh. Ooh. You turn it like this and then what you do is normally um you have to pick the little pegs well not the pegs but you have to pick the size of your wire i am pretty sure that i used this size wire before so i don't have to change it this time but you align it in the back and then you just press on and then you flip the book like this and as you can see it hides that wire and that's why you have to put the back on first because you want to make sure that your wire is hiding and here it goes oh hold on y'all let me move my little cinch out the way so y'all can see this okay so here it go guys and now you just made a little christmas notebook and it's not perfect, it's not meant to be perfect, but it is super cute. And you basically, you made it by hand. And I think it'd be cute for like Christmas gifts and things like that. And it's nothing like creating your own handmade items. And if you have like a Cricut or if you want to put some words on it, you can always just buy stickers or you can customize some stickers to put on it. And yeah, this was day five of vlogmas and i hope that you got a chance to enjoy it i was stressed out making this but i really do hope that you all enjoyed it and yeah tune in for day six for sure bye